Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last lecture, I have shown you how to design this form. Here you can see this, how to design this form, how this uh, text is popped up and how the all stuff is working. Okay, so in the last lecture, I have shown you this. So before starting, if you have not watched my previous video, then just go to description and there I have put the link for the previous video. Okay, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get updated with our new content okay so first thing what we need to do is we need to actually change the design name of these all text box so that we can easily identify these text box as well so let me just change the name of this one to txtf name so you just need to keep the name in such a way that you can easily identify when you are coding okay so let me just change this one to txtf name and hit the enter okay after that go for this uh, second one just leave this radio button for now and after that we have to change this one to date time picker dob just for four days and here you can see this change the name not the text okay so change this date time picker to dob like this and hit enter after that for this one Change this to txt mobile and hit enter for the next one txt email because it's an email so just change this to txt email hit enter this one too let me just type uh, it's the combo box where I am going to type txt program or semester actually semester we have to write semester hit enter after that change this one name to txt program okay there we go for this one to txt duration this one to txt address okay and change this button name to btn save design name to btn save okay so before uh, we start coding with this button what we need is we need the uh, a table into the database in which we are going to insert this data so let me just move to this uh, database here you can see this i have opened this previously and you have to execute this query as well so you have to first select when you start this it's uh, selected to master by default and you have to select your database with which you are working i am working with the college i have shown you previously in this you have to execute this query so here you can see this my table name is create table teacher my table name is teacher in this i have pid that is primary key for this table and it is auto incremented by one so that means that you don't have to insert the data for this TID what we have is F name that is first name and after that we have gender DOB let me match with this so first name gender DOB mobile number and email so you can see this DOB mobile number email we have mobile number as big end because it's of 10 digit if you write here in teaser then it will uh, generate exception when you try to enter 10 digit mobile number okay so you have to use this big end after that what we have is semester programming duration address so here we have semester programming year and address so we have to insert the data in the same order you have to just copy this and execute this i'm going to put this query into my description of this video just go and copy that and execute it to the database okay so let's start with this now i uh, Hope you have executed this query into your database. Now moving back to the program. So here, first thing what we have to do is just double click on this button to generate a click event for that. Okay, so just double click on this. And now here we move. Here you can see this button save.click event is generated. And here, first thing what you have to do is, I previously told you what, what we have to do. Just guess a little bit so that you can program easily. So that you your mind process in that way so that you can code okay 
So first thing we have to make a SQL connection. So SQL connection. We have not imported the library. That's why it's showing error. Okay. So how to do that? Let me just show you. Either you can write it manually or just write SQL connection in this way and you will find this small pop-up here. When you click on this here, you can see this. It's showing using SQL, uh, sorry, using system.data.sql client. When you enter, here you can see this. Now it's added into your import library. Okay, so now it will, the color of this text is changed now. Now it means that the library is included into your project. Okay. So after that, we have to create an object connection equals new SQL connection. And we have to move, move next to the con dot connection string. And then this connection string, what we have to pass is I have already shown in the previous video. So let me just copy that from there. Okay. So that's not an issue. Let me just copy this one. I will explain you what actually it is. I have previously explained it too. So here data source, this is a text of this needs to be copied from your um, server. Here you can see this, just copy this and paste it here. Let me show you. Just paste it here and don't forget to add one more uh, slash here. And after that database and database name, which database you are working, my database name is college, I have shown you previously and just type same as this one. Okay. So make sure this T is capital. Don't forget that. And after that, we have to add SQL command that is CMD equals new SQL command. And in this command, we have to pass the connection. So command dot connection equals con. Okay. And after that, we have to pass the command text. So command text and equals what we want to do is we want to actually insert the data into the database so how to do that for that we have to type insert into table name so here you can see this my table name is teacher here you can see this so i am going to type teacher and then this teacher for which column you want to insert the data here you can see this for the first uh, column that is TID, the primary key, we don't have to, we don't want to insert the, this data. So we want to insert F name, gender, DOB, mobile, email, semester, program, year, and address. So just write in this format and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Here you can see this. Now it's nice. And after this, now our actually columns are selected and in these columns we have to insert the values so for that you have to write values like this and after that you have to type the text boxes name from where you are taking the data okay so you can see this i previously told you that we need to insert a string in this form okay here you can see this in this format a single quote then double quote then double quote then single quote and these two plus are for concatenation. So here what we are taking, so first text box name, well, first thing what we need is F name. So F name text box name is txt F name dot text. So in previous video, I have shown you that first we need to take this value into a variable. After that, I'm assigning these uh, variables into this uh, query. Okay, so that's the another way you can do in this way too so i'm showing you this so that you can understand and learn both ways okay so after this what we need is gender but here you can see observe one small stuff is that in gender we have two radio buttons so i have not changed the design name for these radio buttons so let me just change this one to radio button one so let me just change it to radio male and change this one to radio female okay okay so here is a problem now we have really we have a problem so you have to understand this so how to take the value suppose users clicked on male so how to take that value when is uh, suppose you will click on female so how to do that value okay so for that let me just write it here for this we actually need a variable 
let me take a variable string type that is gender and in gender let me initially type none okay so after that we are select text from these two radio buttons after that we will assign that value to the gender okay so here we will take one more that is bull is checked and in this we assign radio button male dot checked okay so you can see this what we are checking uh, here that when this radio button male is checked this boolean value will be what is checked okay so after this we have to check a condition that if is checked it means that when this radio button that is radio male is selected then what we want to do is we want that gender dot gender is equal to we want to assign value this to this string so gender what we want to assign is radio button male dot text so here you can see this the text for this radio button is what male so I'm going to assign this name to this very variable so if it is not checked in the else condition we are going to assign what we are going to assign gender is equal to radio dot email dot text so here what we are doing is when this radio button is not checked it means that the second one is checked so by default if it is not checked then we are going to assign the female okay so now we have the value to this gender so we are going to assign this gender into the second place so you can see this this is gender on the second place so how to do that for that you have to just write in this way okay so just put a comma here and after that in the same way you have to do for the string because it's also a string so just plus plus in the database here you can see this only we have one uh, big int remaining our bar cat so all are a string so we are going to assign all as, as a string so here we have to mention the variable name that is gender here we don't have to mention the dot text because it's a variable okay so don't don't do that mistake so after this we have to again do the same stuff okay and after gender what we have is dob so dob is also as a string so date time picker dob dot text we are going to extract the text from that text box and after dob what we have is mobile number so mobile number is an integer big int format so we have to just put double quotes make sure that here you can see this i have just write the double not the single one and within this you have to write this double plus and after that txt mobile dot text here you can see this now just moving forward after this mobile here you can see this what we have email semester okay so we have to assign the email so one double double and at last one and it's a plus two plus here after that txt email dot text and after this we have to assign after email what we have is semester so txt semester dot text I'm writing this dot text because we are extracting the data from every sorry text box okay or combo box in the both way we are going to use this dot text okay so after semester what we have is programming so in the same way you have to do this let me just make it small for this now after this and within this you have to add two plus and within that txt programming dot text okay and after programming for the last what we have is txt duration and address let me just show you here we have txt year and address okay so year is actually duration or okay so we have here now in this two double quotes and plus and txt duration dot text and after this we have what is what else remain as nothing but txt address dot text here we go 
now the query completes when you execute this uh, the data inserted now okay so after this make sure that you close this and this double quotes and after that the semicolon okay so make sure you make the correct way and after this we have to do one more stuff that is what SQ, sql data adapter okay the equals new sql data adapter in this you have to pass the command and after that you have to use data set is equals new data set and after that a dot fill and in this you have to pass it yes. as you can see this. now what i need is when the data is inserted we need a message from the user that data is inserted data insertion is successful so how to do that for that message box dot show and this data saved okay and this message box name should be success okay and after this i want a message box button so message box button dot ok in this way you can add the button in this and after that you want message box icon so i want x information actually it's an information that confirmation you can see this when I click on this, start this, let me just show you into the my database what actually my teacher contain. Okay, so you can see this. We have only two records here, and now I'm going to insert one more record. So you can see this. When I click on this, add teacher information. I'm going to add something Pooja, and it's a female. Just change the date of birth like this to. Jan 24, while number needs to be like this. User at the rate gmail.com. Select is she is going to actually teach her for fourth semester programming. She can teach Java and for duration like this. Okay, so here you can. XYZ India. And when you click on this, data saved. Okay, just go to database and I'm going to execute this query once again. So, as you can see, this now we have this record. So, now our data is actually being saved. And if you want to clear this text box, I have it already explained you in the previous video how to clear the data for these text box and how to uncheck that. Okay, so that's it for the today's video guys. In the next video, I'm going to show you how this search. Okay, so this is not the complete project. I'm going to show you the complete project now. So let me just stop this project for now. And then this, this is actually the complete project. I will start it right now. In the next video, I'm going to show you when I click on this search, how this is coming. And here you can see this now data we have currently inserted is now here and when i enter this tree and when i click on this here you can see this now only one data is here so in the next video i'm going to show you how to do this how to back end code so just stay tuned and just subscribe if you are not subscribed and you can also check out our other projects like gym management system and c sharp hospital management system in c sharp and other java projects too like blood management bill management student management etc so just subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.